a moment here. Uh, I'm Glenn Malik, the superintendent for Dearborn Schools, and I could not leave and let him go in his last concert, concert without getting a selfie. So we're going to do that right now. <laughs> and Mr. Martin, everybody ready in the back? <laughs> So, Mr. He did not know I was coming, by the way. So, um, I'm here, and it's a pleasure for me to be here this evening to be able to honor Mr. Jeffrey Oshnock, or most people know him as Osh. He began his career with the Dearborn Public Schools in 1986, and has been the director of bands and instrumental music at Dearborn High School since 1992. Mr. Oshnock has degrees from both Michigan State and Michigan, but I do understand that he may favor playing the MSU fight song over Hail to the Victor. Oh, come on now. <laughs> During his tenure at Dearborn High School, he has directed the award-winning Dearborn High School marching, jazz, symphony, and concert bands to great success at the district, regional, state, and national level. Under his direction, the Dearborn High School marching band has consistently earned high ratings in the district marching band competition and has performed the National Memorial Day Parade in Washington, D.C., the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland, and has been the perennial flagship band of the Dearborn Annual Memorial Day Parade. The Dearborn High School Jazz, Symphony, and Concert Bands have all attained great success in district and state competition under Mr. Oshnock's direction, consistently earning high ratings in district and regional band competitions. In addition, many of his students have also attained great individual success in district and state and state-level solo and ensemble competitions. He has also served as the coordinator of the Dearborn High School Pitt Orchestra for 20 different musicals with the Dearborn High School Theater Program, earning the Dearborn Press and Guide Entertainment Award numerous times in the categories of Outstanding Orchestral Direction and Outstanding Orchestra. Many of his former students have gone on to play in many musical venues, ensembles, and bands around the region, including the marching bands at the University of Michigan, Michigan State University, Eastern Michigan University, Central Michigan University, and Western Michigan University. Above and beyond all of these great accomplishments, Mr. Oshnock has dedicated his career to building personal and lasting relationships with his students. He has taught hundreds of students how to be the very best musician, the very best person they can be. His lessons and his impact on the students has reached far beyond the classroom. This is obvious by just looking at the number of people who have come here tonight to enjoy the concert, and we have the alumni band. I want to thank Mr. Oshnock for his service to our students, as he has had a tremendous positive impact on many generations of students. I also want to congratulate him on his retirement and accomplishments, along with his wife, Terry, daughter, Lindsay, and son, Lee, because I know it takes a family. And so congratulations, and thank you for your dedication to Dear One Public School. I didn't let Mr. Martin get away. He was getting that selfie no matter what. He learned a couple of years ago, just don't resist, That's right? right. Uh, Margaret Bell, uh, I'm gonna call Margaret Bell up right now. Uh, DHS class of 2010, drum major during the 2009-10 marching season. Well, first of all, Mr. Ash, I just wanna say thank you for everything that you taught me. And most importantly, all the relationships and like the memories that I got from our band and everything. And this is for you. been passed down and he's gotten pictures of it in the mail anonymously so I'm finally returning it to its rightful owner. <laughs>
I don't know if you heard her say that. 1994, that was taken out of my office. <laughs> So I know it's traveled far. I've seen it over at Fairlane. It's been in Santa's lap. Uh, there was a picture of it doing a spiral through the goalpost at U of M Stadium. It's been in the Dearborn Jail. There's a picture of the Hooter girls in Chicago holding the pig. Um, a couple more of my favorites. Um, there's a picture of the pig over at Kroger in the meat department. <laughs> and finally, the last set of pictures I got was at the cottage we purchased in Gros Eel. There's the pig on my desk and out in the backyard. <laughs> and these pictures would just show up randomly. Anyway, this group in front of you, this is our alumni band, and I put their names in the program. I probably don't have them all. Some people are showing up for the first time today. They're gonna sight read this. And I have 100% confidence that they're gonna pull this off. We're doing two pieces. We're gonna open up with the Washington Post March. Hope you enjoy it.
Not bad for two rehearsals. <laughs> We're going to finish our part of the program with the Stars and Stripes. Hope you enjoy it.
I believe we're close to being ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do this all myself, so a lot of this has to be done on the stage. This is the ninth grade concert band. We're gonna start with selections from La La Land. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
In front of you is the 10th grade concert band. And we're going to start with a, one of my favorite tunes. I want the band to know. <laughs> this is called Algona Crossing. And sometimes a composer will write it uh, with a specific intent, a specific idea. In the last piece, I failed to mention, it was supposed to represent a 19th century logging camp with all that mechanized machinery cutting down those trees. Um, this one was commissioned to celebrate the opening of Algona's Performing Arts Center in Algona, Iowa. It was written to suggest the bustling energy of the early railroading days and also the spirit of hope, courage, and determination of the pioneers on the Iowa Plains. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Our final number, um, a work titled Across the Great Plains. The work was written to commemorate the Pony Express. This job advertisement from 1860 describes it all. Wanted, young, skinny, wiry fellows not over 18, must be expert riders willing to risk death daily. Orphans preferred. <laughs> the music depicts the wild, harrowing ride of the brash and daring young rider. Hope you enjoy it. just about ready. Isn't this a beautiful place to watch a concert? I'd like to thank our mayor, Mayor O'Reilly, 
and also Eric Peterson, who runs this place, for allowing us to have our concert here. It's really an awesome venue. This next piece, Fiesta de los Toros, Festival of the Bulls. This piece was inspired by the fire, passion, and drive of Latin music. Hope you enjoy it.
Okay, I've got a long-standing tradition at this concert to introduce graduating seniors. So I'll read their names. They're just going to stand in place. And when they're all standing, we'll recognize them with a huge amount of applause. Uh, from the flute section, Adriana Faz, Jessica Riemke. On the oboe, Heather Slanick. From the clarinet section, Ben Schondorf. Grace Kalangowski, Case DeConning, on bass clarinet, Kenny Berkstresser, uh, alto saxophone, Cassidy Dara, Anna Karub, tenor sax, Ben Krawczyk, from the trumpet section, Hannah Pfeiffer, Brandon Heston, Ryan Monturth, Adam Meffert. On French horn, Brent Chadha. The trombone section, Adam Shatila. On tuba, Mohanad Teya. From the percussion section, Matt Apostle. Alex Belair, they're probably already standing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Will Bryan. Madison Brodowski. Sabrina Juni, I am not done. Hannah Sherman, and last but not least, Aiden Tomaschek. Now, did I forget anybody? Robert Rinke, I did forget one. Anybody else? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2018.
We're doing this next piece because I like it. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> um, this was actually commissioned uh, by some band directors. Uh, one of their students was uh, killed in a car accident. He played the trumpet. His name was Paul Fortini. He was from Duxbury, Massachusetts, and he went to the high school of the same name. Um, Rosano Galante is the composer. He did many film scores. And every time we do this piece, I discover some other little snippet from some famous um, film. I hear some Wizard of Oz in here. I hear a lot of John Williams stuff, some Star Wars. So I hope you enjoy this one, Journey to the Lion's Castle. Thank <laughs> you. 